Hey guys, so quick video today. We're going to look at the squat now. Uh, one of the things when you start looking at correcting the squat, there's a lot of moving parts in it. But uh, what we're going to go through is we're going to go through this kind of continuum where we're going to develop some movement, so get some mobility. Then we're going to uh, load that pattern because once you do a static stretch, you tend to switch off some stuff. So static stretch, then uh, get some activation in that pattern. Then we're going to recheck the squat, and then we're going to load it once we know we've got it right. So we're going to take a quick look at Shannon's deep squat here. So this is the FMS deep squat test. Uh, we don't need to be super accurate about it. So she's going to squat, and main thing, see where the stick's getting to. She's kind of struggling to get into this bottom position, not really got a nice wide stance you can come up. And now we're going to go against the wall. So. Um, She's going to go into her squat position against the wall. So she needs to be really close to the wall, really close to the wall, even close to the wall. And she can bring her feet down into a squat position. Now the feet need to be still in our squat test stance. So even though we're going to squat here, that's our compensation. We want to be able to squat here. And she's going to get her elbows and she's actually going to pry apart at the legs. So. There we go, and actually pull them apart. And you see what we've got going on in here, you may not be able to see this, but the feet are starting to cheat, and this is, becomes the compensation. No wonder this becomes an easy way to squat, is because we've got a little bit of tension going on here. Now, one of the things for endurance people is that you get really tight here from riding a lot. I happen to know she put in about a three, three and a half hour ride yesterday. Her adductors are a little bit tight. And so we're going to hang out here now for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes and we're going to see what happens. Then we can go to the next thing where we're going to activate. So we'll hang out here for a couple of minutes. Really work to open up and pry those legs apart. Keep the feet where they are. Right. Okay, so we've done the stretch. So we've opened this out. As I said before, one of the things about static stretching is that it tends to switch muscles off. So now we need to reactivate that circuit. And because we're trying to build the squat, we want some ab activation at the same time. So what we've got, Shannon's got feet together, she's got a towel between her knees, she's gonna squeeze the towel the whole time, which is gonna activate those adductors. As she reaches down, she's pulling against, it's a really light band, okay? So it's actually thinner than my little finger. She's gonna pull against the band and get some ab activation as well. So what we've got is we've got ab internal oblique and we've got adductors. So we're setting up this circuit so that it's reactivated for when we squat. Because one of the things about squatting is this has to work. When this works properly, then this will work properly for us. One of the problems people have in getting into their squat is that hip flexors are tight because this isn't working for us. This is now starting to switch on that ab internal oblique adductor circuit. We're just going to do 10. Once she's done 10, we can go and retest our deep squat and see where we got up to. That must be 9. We've got 1 to go. Okay, so now we're going to go retest our deep squat. So now just retest the deep squat. The thing we're looking for is she can actually get a better position because now she's got a little bit more opening up here and the stick is actually over the feet. So she's a pretty clean foot. Finish. Can we just do that one more time? And that's a three in the FMS squat test and we've come from a two. So now, because we know we've got it right, she's going to add load, so I'm going to take this off her. She's just going to do a couple of goblet squats with a kettlebell. Because one of the things about correcting stuff is, now you've corrected it, you want it to stick, we make it stick by adding load. So we've gone static stretch, we've gone activation drill, we've retested to make sure we've got it right, and then we're going to just add load. So we're going to do it in an easy squat pattern. The good thing about the goblet squat, loads that abdominal wall up the same as we had with the pull down effect, and we get this same thing going on. So we've just worked on the squat pattern, static stretch, activate, retest, load, and cement it in place. Hope you liked our one thing, we'll see you next time.